Yo, what's going on guys? It's the Jubilant Gorilla here and today we are working on a build video, something a little bit different than my normal Hopeless Adventures Minecraft episodes. One thing I do have to say is you guys may be able to hear, but I've been pretty ill over the last few days, uh, which is why I haven't churned out any content, but um, I've tried to do this, tried my hardest without getting a headache from looking at the screen too much, me being the old man that I am. And uh, yeah, basically we've got halfway through building this watchtower. I thought I'd guide you guys through it and uh, if you enjoy this video, we can proceed and I'll do a video on the next half of the tower but let's get into this <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, me talking for the whole duration of this video without sneezing and coughing and dying somehow is going to be pretty hard so I've decided to play this one safe. Uh, I'm just going to give you a little bit of an overview of the build and um, then I'm going to let this play out. If you guys are planning on copying this design of the watchtower, um, just pause the video in the sections where it's a little bit harder to follow. And There are a few jumps in here but you, once you pause it and kind of view the building itself, you'll begin to get an overview of this first uh, first section of the tower. So the main frame is spruce. I kind of build out a nice big semi-circular spruce base. Um, and instead of bringing those pillars all the way up, I try and integrate them with some cracked uh, cobblestone, or sorry, some cracked stone bricks, um, which makes it look a lot better and a lot more rustic. On each side, you'll see uh, that I do begin to fill in the sides with a kind of mix and match of bricks. Don't keep anything too uniform, guys. It looks more boring that way. Um, and, and sometimes when things are all the same, it looks better. But in this case, it's meant to be rustic and old. And placing in different different bricks, mossy cobblestone, cobblestone, and stone bricks, all integrates and looks a lot better that way. Um, also, a nice effect you can see that I do use in this video is uh, placing in stairs in flat walls. When you place in stairs in flat walls, it adds a bit of depth, a bit of kind of texture to the wall instead of it just being flat and boring. It, it makes it look a lot better and um, really looks like the houses or this watchtower has been kind of worn down. It's had a bit chipped out the side. It just looks like there's a bit of a hole in there and it, it looks good. It really does work. I place windows on each side because um, obviously it is a watchtower and um, that's about eight blocks by two of glass just so you've got a nice view on each side. Uh, as well as that I've got a nice platform that I place in the middle you'll see. Uh, further into the video I place a platform which will be the first level of viewing and there's going to be two levels in the next video. I'm going to cover the next level where we go up a lot higher and obviously it's a watchtower so the higher you go the better the view you will get. I've got a platform or a kind of a balcony on the front and back at, at the same level as the, as the platform itself which works for uh, viewing over the valley which is an incredible view and it's a really really good place to build this watchtower and then I kind of bring it up a little bit higher so the balconies on the right and the left hand side look uh, a little bit higher up so it's not again all uniform all the way around it kind of mixes things up makes it look a little bit better so I'm just going to let this one play out guys follow it if you want to follow it just watch and enjoy it if uh, you just want to watch for the build itself and uh, if you do want to see the second part of this tower being built then make sure to comment down below like subscribe all that sort of good stuff Stuff, guys thanks for watching guys i'm gonna go to sleep and try and recover as much as i possibly can and get rid of this illness and uh, i'll see you all in the next video when i'm better